Very interesting coincidence here, right? Joe Biden announces 3.1 billion US dollars of investment into battery technology in the United States. The next day, we get this press release showing what is going to be built in the US by this incredible company with what is amazing battery technology that's not some kind of YouTube hoax, which is what 99% of the videos I've seen on YouTube are. This is the real deal. It's already in watches and other digital devices right now. This company is legit. They make batteries today. All they need to do is scale up. They've already proven this battery is cost effective. The energy density claims that they have are insane. They're saying they can double energy density by 2031 and add an additional 50% to the energy density of lithium ion batteries by the end of next year. Plus, they're building essentially what you might even call a battery gigafactory in the USA. That, my friends, is amazing news. And I'm stoked to be able to share it with you. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to have you. Thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel. Thanks to our Patreon supporters for making this channel possible. Sealer Nanotechnologies is one of those battery companies that most people have never heard of, but it's working with Mercedes and BMW and a number of other automakers who don't wish to have their names published to replace the graphite in a battery cell's anode with silicon. The result of doing this is batteries that are less expensive, don't need graphite, for example, and more energy dense. The company announced this week it will convert an existing facility in Moses Lake, Washington to produce 10 gigawatt hours of batteries initially that use the full graphite replacement technology. It says its batteries will be installed in hundreds of thousands of EVs by 2026. But I mean, this is good news, 10 gigawatt hours, right? It's great news. This is what America needs. However, it also says on its website, it wants to ramp up to 200 gigawatt hours per year by 2030. If it did that, it could potentially become one of the largest battery manufacturers on the face of the earth. Do I think this will work? Regular viewers of the channel know my thoughts on battery technology. You know I think lithium ion phosphate batteries are the battery chemistry of the future. However, we do need higher energy density batteries. These batteries are definitely going to be much higher energy density than any current lithium ion batteries on the market right now, right? And of course, than lithium ion phosphate batteries. These batteries will work incredibly well in probably mid higher end electric vehicles. Brilliant choice then because they're the vehicles, people are willing to pay more for those vehicles to get the experience of having massively increased range. Jim Hanley from Clean Technica says that the 600,000 square foot Moses Lake facility will start producing automotive scale quantities of Silla's battery tech by the second half of 2024 with full production underway in early 2025, which is amazing news because this is not vaporware. This is legit. They're backed by Mercedes and BMW and other automotive companies. They're already manufacturing these batteries at scale, not for cars, but at scale for wearable devices. They've proven this concept works. This is not a hoax. This is not another story of what might happen. This is what is happening today in the US. Now, the interesting thing is the guy who actually started this company was the seventh employee for Tesla. Seventh employee. That's pretty cool. Now, he's, his name is Gene Berdachevsky, and he founded the company a number of years ago. In addition to that, he was one of the first people to use lithium ion batteries to power vehicles that started life with an internal combustion engine. So he was converting internal combustion engine vehicles to battery powered vehicles. So this product hasn't just appeared overnight. This is the real deal. This facility that produces batteries right now for consumer electronics has been working to bring its battery chemistry to electric vehicles for more than a decade. The CEO estimates that Sela battery technology will make it to EVs sometime in 2025, depending on how long it takes automakers to validate the new tech, a process that can take anywhere from six to 18 months. Last September, Sela actually 
released their electric battery technology breakthrough. And it's pretty impressive. What's more impressive is that they scaled it beyond pilot quantities, and it now comes in current electronic devices that you can buy. It's not vaporware. At the time, Sealer told TechCrunch it would need to scale 100 times further to have enough material to deploy in electric cars. Therefore, they decided to build a new factory. Of course, the Biden administration releasing all this funding is clearly part of their announcement today to build that factory. Without that funding, they may not have been able to. Here's what they said. Each of the two production lines on the new plant will be about 100 times the throughput of our existing production line we have in Alameda. The Alameda production line can produce 15 megawatt hours of capacity. It's a huge step up and it allows us to get to automotive scale. The second phase will consist of a fully expanded plant at 150 gigawatt hours, and that will represent a blueprint for a world scale plant that we plan to build first in the US and then copy in Europe and Asia in the future. This company has massive plans to go global with this technology. Sealer says it may cost them around 2 billion US dollars to increase production to 150 gigawatts a year. They said the demand for batteries that we're going to have by the end of the decade only about 5% of that capacity exists here domestically. So you can either look at this as a huge problem or you can look at it as a massive opportunity. And you either get behind this opportunity or you get left behind. Now the reality is, right now the US is getting left behind when it comes to battery production. China is producing about 85% of the world's batteries. We need companies like this one in the US to take some of that capacity. Sealer's CEO echoed these thoughts. The narrative in many ways has been that the US is a laggard in energy and energy transition, and I actually think that's not correct. He points to the range of innovation that has come out of US companies, from the sheer existence of Tesla to solar energy ingenuity and fuel cell breakthroughs. And I personally have made a video showing that the majority of the solid state battery breakthroughs have come from US companies. There's a huge amount of innovation, but the part where we haven't done as well in the US is manufacturing. Scylla has been an example of that same kind of innovation, except now we're taking it to the second step and focusing on manufacturing domestically. What I do find ironic here is that their most vocal supporters are BMW and Mercedes, two, to be honest, laggards when it comes to electric car deployment. Now, for those of you who don't know much about silicon, and its advantages over graphene. Tom Rickey reported that silicon is a staple of the digital revolution. It shunts loads of signals on a device that's likely just inches from your eyes right now. Now, silicon, which is cheap and plentiful, is becoming a serious candidate for a big role in the burgeoning electric car battery business. It's especially attractive because it's able to hold 10 times as much energy in an important part of a battery, the anode, than what's widely used today, which is graphite. So going from graphite to silicon is a massive advantage. However, there's one big problem with silicon. While silicon has a very good reputation among scientists, with engineers, not so much. The material itself swells when it's part of a battery. It swells so much that the anode flakes and cracks, causing the battery to lose its ability to hold a charge and ultimately to fail prematurely. However, now scientists have witnessed the process for the first time, which was an important step toward making silicon a viable choice that can improve the cost, performance, and charging speed of batteries for electric vehicles, as well as cell phones, laptops, smartwatches, and other electric gadgets. Well, fortunately, Sealer has clearly cracked the code of using silicon for the anode in a battery which is obviously going to be a huge cost advantage over using graphene. Silicon is incredibly abundant as a material. It's much less expensive than graphene, and thanks to the fact that it can hold 10 times more power, it's a much better solution for electric batteries. Currently, Sealer uses their silicon-based battery in the Whoop 4.0 Fitness wearable, which boasts a 17% higher energy density in a 33% smaller device. So in other words, the batteries are much smaller and much more energy dense. You can imagine how great this will be for mobile phones, for laptops, 
but more importantly, for every single product that uses a battery. This is another example of American ingenuity in the real world. And I, for one, am excited to see what this company will do over the next few years. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.